Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel. Today's video is going to be a review of my bookcase club and my throw club. I haven't done one of these reviews in a few months now even though I've still been receiving books from them just because I haven't been reading as much lately. I have a very long TBR um, so I haven't really been reading the books I have been receiving unfortunately. Um, I might actually put a pause on my can my um, subscription service for now just because I haven't been reading as much. been super busy with work and being a single mom and stuff. I can't read as much as I would like which if I had it my way I would be reading 24-7. But um, I do have four books in front of me. I've unfortunately only read one of them so far, but I thought I would share them with you. Anyways, the one I have read is Cover of Snow, and um, I went through this book pretty quickly. I mean, it, it isn't a super long book. It's a little over 300 pages, um, but I quite liked this book. Um, in the beginning of the book, I can say this, it's not a spoiler alert, it's even on the back. Um, the main character finds that her husband has committed suicide and she goes through um, his final days and is making connections to like his um, background, things that happened when he was a child and just all sorts of crazy things and uh, it was just super interesting and it didn't go in the direction I thought it was going to but I mean the ending was still somewhat satisfying <laughs> I feel like honestly this book needs like a second book or a follow-up or something because it was like I need more but that might just be me uh, but I did quite enjoy it if you like um, mysteries I think you would really like this book and yeah, it is the only one I read unfortunately so far. It just looked really interesting because it was talking about mystery and conspiracies and dark secrets and interesting stuff to me. So the next book is called As Night Falls and um, this kind of reminds me of Cover of Snow just because like Cover of Snow this is, also takes place in the winter and it's snowy. It says a murderer um, has escaped has the power to take everything away from Sandy, uh, the main character. She lives in an isolated home in the woods, very similar to the last book as well. So as you can, this kind of gives me, I can't remember what this movie is called. There was a movie where these people with like masks were um, breaking into these two people's house and they were like torturing them at first. like. Um, not really going in, but like popping in at random places. It's not your next, but I cannot for life me remember what this movie was, but it's kind of reminding me of that. Like something like just an outside threat coming into somebody's house and threatening them. Like that's just outside threat threatening them. It's great wording, but that's just kind of what this reminds me of. And if I can find that movie, I will put it <laughs> somewhere, but um, if I can't, can somebody please tell me what the movie is? I feel like that description was very vague, but that's just what that book reminds me of. The next book is called Rise the Dark. Uh, the inside of this um, says, Rise the Dark. These were the last words written in Lauren's notebook before she was murdered in a strange Florida village and then skipping ahead it says rise the dark in Red Lodge Montana a senseless act of vandalism shuts the lights off in the town where Sabrina Baldwin is still trying to adjust to a new home and mourning the loss of her brother um, so definitely looks like a murder mystery to me um, Sabrina is abducted by Lauren's killer that's interesting so murder mystery some kidnapping in there. Rise the Dark. I want to know why it's called that now. I'm one of the people where I'm like, why is the book called this? I have to know. But it definitely looks interesting to me. I really like murder mysteries. That's one of my favorite genres. Hence why I subscribe to things like My Throat Club. But um, definitely looks interesting. And it's um, it's 386 pages long. So it's not like terribly short or terribly long. I feel like I feel like it's kind of medium, depending on how comfortable you are with reading. Because I consider anything under like 250 to be a really short book. So, um, but yeah, 
definitely looks interesting. I have to get to it at some point. I have a feeling I'm going to read a lot of these during um, October because I tend to read more mysteries during the Halloween season. The very last one I have is called The Heist. Um, and this says that it is, uh, the main character is an FBI special agent, um, is known for her fierce dedication and discipline, chasing down the world's most wanted criminals and putting them behind bars, um, meet somebody named Nicholas Fox, who is a natural con man. So it says, um, Nicholas Fox has been captured for good. He puts off his great con, greatest con of all time. He convinces the FBI to offer him a job working side by his side with Special Agent Kate, who has been trailing him. That is pretty funny. <laughs> so, this looks interesting. This is kind of like detective work with a twist, is kind of what it sounds like. And... Um, I don't think this is really all that long either. It's not even 300 pages yet. Whoa, I'm dropping things. But, um, I don't know. I feel like if I saw this book, I wouldn't necessarily go for it. But I find a lot of times that these kinds of books that I receive in subscription services, I end up really loving, which is one of the reasons why I really like book subscription services. So those were the four books that I received this month. Um... I think I have a three month subscription service to these. So once those three months are up, I probably won't renew until I can catch up on my TBR a little bit more. Cause right now it's just, a, it, it, it's way too long. It's kind of ridiculous. Um, but if you guys have these subscription services, let us know down below what you thought of them. And as always, if you did like this video, please be sure to like and subscribe and hit the bell and all of that jazz. You can follow me on Twitter and Instagram. My links are in the thingamajigger. Thank you so much for watching. And I will see you later. Bye.